What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video, I have great news for all of you on iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1. Files I escaped 15 has been released and you can download it right now, sideload it to your device and have some jailbreak functionality. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a software that allows you to recover data from backups, iCloud or even from the device if you lost it or it's been deleted and it can also fix a broken device that is in boot loop or recovery mode and so on and recover the screen time passcode. Check it out in the link below there is a free trial available. So as you probably remember Bass VT said a couple of days ago that they will be releasing soon the files escape 15 which is basically files a file manager that you get from Cydia a complete file manager for iOS which allows you to modify files on the device and possibly even tweak some applications and stuff and even the device camera shutter sound and stuff. Well now it's finally available this is the first release for iOS 15. There is currently no jailbreak available for iOS 15 but files escape uses as a jailbreak exploit in order to give you the same files that you would get if you were jailbroken. BassVT is sending here quote, it's finally here, Falza escaped 15, get it while it's hot at this address. Big thanks to the people helping out figure out some issues, might be unstable, will be fixed in future updates. Feel free to buy me a coffee if you like. Definitely would recommend you to do so. These things are hard to do, especially on iOS 15, so I definitely appreciate BassVT's contribution to the community. And the address they point you to is this one, BassVT developer development.com slash files escape and it's available over here the iOS file manager with root access it's basically the same as files from the CD app but that one uses a jailbreak in order to work this one doesn't require a jailbreak you can be non jailbroken yet you would still have files working with full access well mostly full access because on iOS 15 I'm pretty sure it's rootless but anyways in order to get it you press files escaped over here and you make sure to go here to downloads and get files escape 15 this one basically works for iOS 15.0 up to 15.1.1. It's not mentioned here on the project website, but that's the range supported for the moment. 15.0 up to 15.1.1. Once you have the IPA file, which looks like this over here, you can get it on both Mac OS and Windows, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to sideload it to the device. You can either use Altstore for that, the most common way, or sideloadly. Both of them work both on Windows and Mac OS, and you can use whichever you like. So let's sideload it. Alright, so I have here ready my iPad touch running iOS 15.1 which is supposed to be compatible both device wise and iOS version wise. So I have in here side loadly which I have installed and I just have to complete my Apple ID there, press start and of course my password is already in place since I signed before and as you can see everything should be going fine. Yes it says signing, uploading and installing. This can take a couple of seconds if you never did this before it's not a major thing you just have to put your Apple ID and password. You can even create a dummy one just for the purpose and you will be able to sign. So yeah, it says in here done and now the application is on the device. Let me actually screencast the device. Alrighty then, this is the uh, device connected right now. Let me actually go ahead and if you try to open it, it says this. Your device is managed by whatever and you should basically trust the profile. To do that, you go here to settings and you navigate to general and to VPN and device management. Here you should have developer app. You press on your Apple ID or email and press trust and trust again. It's as simple as that and that's basically it. You should be able to open the application now. Before we do that, it may crash on your device. It may take a couple of seconds before opening on your device because it actually runs the exploit first in order to get all the privileges and stuff like that. So this may take a few attempts to get it right. I'm gonna open it, it shows the widescreen, everything is normal, but after that you can see everything is fine. And as you can see, we basically have Falza over here. So you know Falza, it's the same application that you got used to from jailbreaking and stuff like that. It's the same Falza as before. That's basically how you install Falza Escape. What you do with it, it's basically your business. You can transfer files, you can edit files, you can edit your applications and save games and stuff. It's up to you, but that's how you install it. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.